D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I've got a LG Multi V3 first generation first generation VRF heat recovery system here and what you're looking at is the service tool on my laptop okay and so what I was getting earlier I was getting error 62 62 3 which means it stated uh, something to do with the inverter board temperature on slave number two okay so you got slave number this is the master slave one slave two and if you have a slave three it will be right there okay so this temperature right here before I did the remedy before I did the fix uh, I was at uh, reading 179 but actually the compressors are running a little bit higher or drawing more amperage right but nonetheless it was always higher than the other two compressors the master and the first slave as you can see like right now the master and the first slave is higher than the second slave but I'm gonna show you the fix before I, before I get into the video and show you the fix though subscribe if you haven't subscribed and smash that bell icon so I don't put videos like these to get them right away and remember preferred members is gonna get this video first become a preferred member today so when I upload videos you get them right away like you'll be the first to get them and then um, you can always comment right or comment and I'll answer your comment like within like instantly right if you got questions you can ask it answer your questions instantly so what you're looking at here this is the control section it's currently live as you can see there's light flashing so I don't want to put my hand anywhere in near in there get electrocuted on the video all right so here is the inverter board right here that's the inverter board let me zoom in on that that's the inverter board right there let me zoom in on that and the problem lies what I found there is two screws that that attach the diodes or the rectifiers I don't know if I'm saying the correct term if you're if you're an LG expert you can comment and say am, am I calling the right thing there's a little block piece which you have to use some thermal paste and attach that to the heat sink and the other side I'm gonna show you the heat sink in a moment uh, but there's just two screws there's one right there Let me zoom in there's, there's one screw right there's one screw right there that holds the heat sink or attach the board to the heat sink and then another screw right up this side right there all right are you seeing it there's one right there. this is Phillips head you can also use a flat as well it goes both ways one there right there and another so one of these two screws was loose so once I tighten it down that's when the temperatures of the inverter came down right now let me show you on the other side the heat sink So that's the heat sink on the opposite side. Um, there's your inverter board and then there's your fan board. All right? The fan board has an inverter on the opposite side too. Um has a has a heat sink on the opposite side as well. This board as well. I don't know what this board is called. Do you know what this board is called? Comment in the comment section. I could always find out from the schematic though. In the wiring diagram. All right? Let's see if we can find that here in the wiring diagram. So that board. So I know we have the, oh, noise filter board. Yeah, I think that's what it is, the noise filter board. It's upside down. Noise filter board. So the inverter board, there's an heat sink, there's an heat sink attached to the back of that. There's an heat sink attached to the back of the fan board. Obviously the fan board runs the fans, the condenser fans, inverter board runs the compressor, and then the noise filter board is, a, is another heat sink attached to that with some thermal paste. So remember guys, if you're gonna replace these boards, you're gonna, you're gonna apply that thermal paste, that little white stuff you see there. That white stuff, that white pasty stuff. Thermal paste. You gotta put thermal paste on the back of the component 
between the component and the heat sink. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's that was the solution. So now, um, when I looked at the other, uh, the master and the uh, and the uh, first slave, they're actually running warmer than this one which I which I fixed, right? So yeah, pretty cool. Um, I think I might just check the other the master and the uh, first slave inverter inverter connection as well make sure those screws are tight um, yeah so if you get in the Aero 62 that's the first place you want to check make sure that those screws are tight and uh, yeah this is what I used to get in there you know you got to get all the way up in there so you get a, here's a flat you know what I'm saying if you want this tool comment I'll send you some link for this one it's pretty cool all right so this gets all the way up in there now like I said this is live right now so I won't go too near to it go get too close to it that lights flashing this thing is live this thing is running and you can see the eat things again all right so there's one right there and another one over there for the fan for the, the noise filter board. So you got three of them back there. Or maybe two guys, I don't know. Noise filter board, I don't know. Actually, maybe noise filter board shares. Shares the... Maybe the noise filter board shares with the, uh, with the fan board. Yeah, with the fan, the 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 inverter, and the noise filter board shares the same heat sink. All right, so that's that. Aero 62. First thing you check, that's the resolution for it. Other than that, you might have to have a faulty compressor or faulty board, inverter board. Check this out. All right. So, like I said, preferred members gets this first. Become, become one today so my indoor units over here and I'm gonna have a video coming where I'm gonna use a smartphone app let me show you what uh, Aero 62 is voila All right inverter heat sink eye temperature I think I was bluffing there you go details all right oh look at that well, that's not my case mine was just loose because like i've been running for like since i did that i started up i restarted and it's been uh about 20 minutes now so and those numbers aren't getting to the temperatures where it was prior so i'm at 127 Alright, let me just make sure that I'm going, all my indoors are on, all my indoors are on, so these are on and cooling, I'm just going to go ahead and like lower it all the way down to ramp this thing fully up, I'm going to go ahead and do that, lower my temperatures, select all of them, and just drop the temperature all the way down, Boom, boom, boom. It's cold as it gets when cooling, and we're gonna send that over, okay? And let's get this thing ramped up, ramped up, ramped, ramp, ramping up some more. So we are we're only doing eight amps, eight point six, nine point two, and eight point six on the inverter compressors. As the amperage draw and uh, my standard compressor um, two of them is running doing 17 amps so the other one is off so this is this is a standard compressor right here the first compressor and then the second one over there back there is the inverter compressor 
the one with the green tag. See how it's a green in the tag? It's a green in the tag. Green in the tag, that's the inverter compressor. All right, and then the one just black and white and the tag, that's the standard. Regular contactor, right there. It's a regular contactor. That runs the standard and it's not energized right now, as you can see. It's not energized, it's not in. If I push this in right now, the compressor will start. Okay? All right, so I'm gonna close this video off. That's what it was about. Like I said, I have another video coming where I'm gonna use the app to connect. Now there's an error because I got one of the indoor units off. Error 53. All right, 53. It's saying that, let me show you what it is. 53 okay indoor unit communication error so that is that's there because I have one of my indoor unit powered down currently doing some repairs so that's that I'm closing this video off right now guys comment questions leave it in the comment section